We're creeping up to the start of the Major League Baseball season, and that means I have to get some takes on the record. So I'm gonna to try to get out a couple videos that highlight starting pitchers that I think are gonna break out in 2024. And we're gonna start with Hunter Brown. The Astros righty had a 5.09 ERA last season with peripherals that said he should have been more like a 4.3 ERA guy. So on that alone, he's a pretty easy buy for the 2024 season. But I'm in on him for the adjustments he appears to have made this offseason. There was some documentation that he was adding a slower slider, but I don't really think that tells the whole story. In the one game we have data for in Hunter Brown's spring, in which he threw a decent sample of pitches, so I think some of what he flashed there is suggestive of things to come. He took the hard cutter he had last year that was around 92 miles per hour and split it into a pair of pitches. More of a true backspun cutter with a lot more lift at the same velocity and a new slower bullet style or called gyro slider at 87 miles per hour. You can see this pretty clearly on a pitch plot of his. The orange blob, that hard cutter from last year, breaks into two parts with one moving up and the other moving down. The new orange up there now has an increased amount of vertical break. That's why it's higher up on our plot in true cutter territory. It's dropping less. And the new green down here has less vertical break. That's why it's lower on our plot. It's dropping more and now resides in that bullet or gyro slider territory. The problem with the hard cutter he threw last year is that it wasn't actually that good. Versus lefties, he used it about 16% of the time, primarily when he was behind in counts, acting as a contact neutralizing strike stealer. He preferred his big curveball or splitter to lefties when he was ahead. And partially because of that count usage, the pitch got beat up. So it seems like Brown or the Astros went back to the drawing board and were like, hey, if this is a contact neutralizing pitch for you to be used behind in counts, then it needs to do a better job of actually neutralizing contact. One of the issues with the pitch is that he threw it down in the zone to left-handed hitters a lot. I've wondered whether pitches with that much backspin or vertical break just usually don't work well down in the zone. The specs on the pitch were good, it looked good, it just didn't work well where it was placed and in the counts it was placed. And the damage he allowed on it was pretty much all over the zone. I think the purpose of the new cutter he's throwing to lefties is to get it up in the zone. And to my point about pitches with above average vertical break needing to be placed up in the zone, he appears to have added about six inches of lift or vertical break to that cutter. Again, dropping less, that's why it's higher up on our plot. A perfect pitch that will now allow him to live more up in the zone to left-handed hitters. To righties, Brown used his old cutter about 23% of the time, mostly again when he was behind in the count, just like he did to left-handed hitters. And again, the pitch just wasn't that great, even though he varied locations a good amount. Unlike versus lefties, where I don't think he's gonna throw the new bullet slider pitch that much, versus righties, I think Brown is going to use these two new pitches in most situations. Maybe the cutter is used more behind in the count, but the key for me is this bullet slider when he's ahead in the count. He used a lot of curveball last year, and I get it, it's a good pitch. It's just kind of rare for a right-handed pitcher against right-handed hitters to not have more of a whiff-based slider when he's ahead in the count, even if those whiffs just come from the location of the pitch. And I'd bet this new bullet slider kind of takes over as his deep count pitch versus righties, surpassing his curveball and inducing more swing and miss versus that handedness. Projections have him as a four ERA guy this season. They actually really like him, especially coming off a five ERA season. You don't really see that much regression a lot, but he did have a 1.5 homer per nine last year, a lot of barrels allowed. And I think this cutter slider tweak will allow him to pull that home run rate down, pushing the ERA below four with potentially better strikeout totals due to that new slider to right-handed hitters. I wouldn't be surprised to see him post a three win season as a pitcher and be a top 30 pitcher in all of baseball. So to recap before I let you go, it appears that Hunter Brown took that hard cutter he was throwing last year and broke it into two pitches, right? He broke it into the more backspun cutter that I think we're gonna see a lot more as a contact neutralizing weapon to left-handed hitters. And now he has also a slower bullet slider that I think we're gonna see as more of a whiff pitch to right-handed hitters. I do like the idea of potentially using both of these pitches to each handedness of hitter, really making him into not such a curveball depending guy, but we will see how that transpires throughout the season and how these pitches perform. I really like these tweaks. I think I would take the under on most of his projections right now, which is again, pegging him around a four year eight guy, probably about a two, two and a half win pitcher. Let's shoot him as a three win pitcher. Astros are a good team. 
They're smart in these tweaks. I like the tweaks Hunter Brown made. I'm excited to watch them this year. Keep an eye on my channel for other videos. I'm gonna try to get a couple more of these out highlighting pitchers I like in 2024. As always, thank you for watching.